I was recently hired to create a customization for a client and they wanted an accordion drop down on their product page. And I thought the solution that I came up with was really robust and just a good solution in general. So I decided to turn it into a low cost plugin. All you have to do is add the code to your site and format the product description in a specific way. And then you're able to get these drop down items here. And the nice thing is it is also keyboard accessible. So I can tab through and hit enter or the space key. And that will also, people will be able to access these items via the keyboard as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use this plugin. So I've installed the CSS in the custom CSS window. I have the code in the site-wide footer code injection. And so now it just comes down to how I'm going to format my product description. And so you can see here, you know, with this unformatted text, we have a paragraph here, and then we have an item that we want to be part of the dropdown. We have another heading, more content for that heading, another heading, and then more content. So, you know, this takes up a lot of vertical space. So, you know, we would want that to be part of this dropdown style like accordion feature. So I'm going to edit the product um, and it just comes down to how we format this content. So it's just important that our accordion headings, our drop down headings are paragraphs. It doesn't matter what paragraph size you make them, but they do have to be paragraphs. So they can't be headings. So all you have to do um, is highlight the heading and we're going to go bold, italic and strike through. And then I'm gonna go down to the next one and I'm gonna go bold, italic, and strike through. And then for this one, I'm gonna go bold, italic, and strike through. And then it's really important, this is a mandatory step. We need another paragraph at the end and this has to be bold, italic, and underlined. And that denotes the end of our last item. Uh, otherwise, the code will break and if we had more content down here, that it would try and add this content to our last item. So we just want to make sure that, you know, we, we include this end here. And instead of a strike through, it's going to be bold, italic, and underlined. Um, so then I, this is more content. So now any content that we have after the end will not be part of our drop downs. So now I can hit save now that I've formatted this appropriately. And you can see automatically it loads into the product description drop downs and because we've ended our last item you know the it's not breaking it's uh, formatting appropriately with this extra content down here showing up as normal so it's that simple um, and again keyboard accessible um, just really easy to implement there are some styling options here that you can adjust so this is the space above and below so the space around uh, the items this is the space around the titles. So if we want a little bit more space between the titles and the lines, we could do that. We also have the accordion line thickness. So if you wanted it two pixels, that'll make the lines and the symbols a little bit thicker. Then we have the accordion line color. Um, so current color just pulls in whatever the paragraph color is. So that's why that's the default. But if you wanted to do some sort of, you know, special color for the lines, you can do that. And same thing for the arrows too, like if you wanted them to be a different color for the uh, icon, I mean, you can uh, set a custom color there, but I like just keeping it at current color and it'll inherit whatever the paragraph color is. Then we have the title font weight. This can be normal or bold if you want these to be bolded, uh, but the default is normal. And then uh, the accordion open speed is just how fast it's going to be animating as it opens and closes. So this is 0.5 seconds. If you want it to go slower, you could do one second. You can see it animates very slowly. Um, but I think 0.5 seconds is nice as the default. So there you go. That is the customization of this plugin. Um, again, I think it's a really robust solution and very easy to implement. Um, and if you're doing this on a client site, it would be very easy to educate the client on how to create new items as well. So I hope you enjoy this plugin. If you are interested in purchasing it, the link will be below this video. And you can also just go to my website, to my plugins shop, and go to the product page dropdowns. Thanks so much. 
Consider subscribing for more Squarespace content in the future, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.